Alignment terms are often misunderstood and misused, so here's a quick rundown of the main three. You've heard the term camber and seen it in use before, but what is its performance purposes when used correctly on a car rather than just for aesthetics? Camber refers to the angle of the wheel relative to being straight up, so negative camber sees the top of the wheels tilt in, while positive camber sees the bottom of the wheels tilt in. As your wheels turn a large amount or across an uneven surface, the maximum amount of tire tread isn't being used, causing a drop in handling performance. To fix this, negative camber is introduced to cause the tread to be evenly distributed when on the bank corner or when a large amount of lateral force is introduced. This improves cornering stability, however the downside is that once the wheel isn't under lateral force or going straight, stability can drop as the surface area of the tyre contacting the road is reduced. The right level of camber is measured by race teams by analysing the spread of heat across the tyre. A tyre that is hotter on the inside than the out would imply that too much negative camber is being run as too much load is being placed on that part of the tyre. A perfect camber setup will return an even spread of heat across the tyre. So overall, even though you likely associate camber with the world of stance and scraping cars, there is a happy medium that can help to improve your car's handling. While it's less discussed than camber, toe is a key feature when it comes to the alignment of cars. Toe compares the front and back of each wheel's distance to the centre of the car. So toe in means that the front of the wheels are closer to the centre, while toe out means that the rear of the wheels are closer to the centre. A toe in setup is often used on the rear axle of rear wheel drive cars as it helps to increase stability on straight line accelerations and when coming out of corners. A toe out setup is often favoured on the front axle of rear wheel drive cars as it allows the wheels to turn freely and not fight against one another. On front wheel drive cars, the engine's torque tends to naturally tow in the front wheels under acceleration, so a tow out setup can help in negating that effect, allowing the car to turn in easier. However, it's important to make sure that only very minor adjustments are made to tow, as it has a much greater effect on driving behaviour than camber changes. Too much tow in or out can cause the tyres to drag or the steering to wander, sapping valuable speed and stability from the car. So while you don't hear it being talked about as much as camber, Toe does have a very important place in the world of aligning cars. The often forgotten alignment term, caster, refers to the angle at which the steering axis operates on. It essentially controls how much the steering and suspension will self-center. The steering axis is seen as a line through the upper and lower ball joint of the steering knuckle. You'll very often find that this line ends in front of the tire's contact patch. This is known as positive caster, while the line ending behind the contact patch would be negative caster. The easiest way to think of positive caster is like a shopping cart wheel. Because the wheel is behind the point that chooses where it goes, the wheel always follows that point. Increasing positive caster puts that point further forward and makes the steering more stable at speed. Without pushing positive caster too far, it can also improve the road feel and steering weight the driver receives, allowing for a better driving experience. Increasing caster also allows the amount of mid-corner negative camber to increase, allowing your contact patch to increase, improving grip. While it may be the alignment term that most often gets forgotten, it still plays a huge role in setting up a car correctly. 